hope this angle is okay. Miranda here, so oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I've been delaying this video for so long, and that is my yearly QA answers. I put out my questions in around, uh, what was it, what was it, September? And um, I don't know why, I'm so sorry. I just feel really horrible. <laughs> but so much stuff has been going on. All your questions, thank you so much for sending them in. Uh, it was really fun, you know, looking through all of them, and yes, here we go, here we go. <laughs> Amy Walker asked, Miranda, did you have a specific book that originally got you into reading? I think what got me into reading the YA genre was definitely Twilight, because after that, that changed my life forever. I did read a lot of, like, the Go Girls when I was very young, and I did read, you know, the Saddle Club books and this and that, so that was kind of my introduction to chapter books. But there wasn't a specific book that got me into reading. It was more just a couple of series and even Jack and Wilson book. Kissy Bernard asked, what's your favourite song right now? Uh, my favourite song right now is probably Hello by Adele. Oh, you know when you just get to one song and you just get really addicted to it? I'm really addicted to that song at the moment. It says, what's one book that you've read and hated? Probably The Raven Boy. I also really didn't enjoy the Shiver series. I didn't really, I liked Finding Audrey but it was my favourite. Ready the Reader says, what is your favourite book? My favourite book is Fallen by Lauren Kate. I just love that book. It's just addictive. I do love the passion though. Passion by Lauren Kate is also my favourite. What's your most collected series? Probably the Warriors series by Aaron Hunter. I have like all the books to do with that and um, I just cherish that a lot and I really love that series. Saying to what um, Emmy Walker said before, um, her question, I would have to say um, Warriors as well as Twilight get me into reading YA as well as Fallen. They all kind of came in one period. What book do you cherish the most? I wouldn't have a specific answer of a book that I cherish the most, but probably all my hardbacks. I really cherish them. And I have this time after time hardback. It's just beautiful and I, I, I love that book. Like, I remember when I first got it and it was like a beautiful hardcover. I'm just like, I just fell in love. <laughs> Angus says, from AW Studios Books, what are you most excited for in Book Expo Australia? <laughs> I've already read Book Expo Australia, that's how long ago I've neglected doing this. Meeting you was awesome. Book Expo Australia was great this year. Um, there wasn't as much to do as last year. One of the highlights um, was meeting everyone and having that BB room and having that booktube meetup. It was just so brilliant. So make sure also I'll leave a nutshell video for that down below. Cassie Badar says, do you watch TV shows? And if so, what's your favourite TV show that you recommend everyone should watch? Do I love TV shows? <laughs> yes, I do watch TV shows. The TV shows that I usually watch, there are a lot of reality shows. You know, like the usual X Factor, The Voice, uh, cooking shows, like if you I know, I'm so bored. But I do watch Vampire Diaries, Pretty Little Liars, drama as well, like A Place to Call Home, Gilmore Girls. I do watch TV, don't get me wrong. But I watch more of the normal just TV shows that are basically on. I'm very weird when it comes to TV. Like I don't know. You know how there's like a lot of people out there like, oh my god, I watch this, this and this and this and this. She also says favourite food to eat. Uh, I don't necessarily have my most favourite food, but I love aioli sauce. That's just fantastic. I really have like a, an absolute favourite food. You could say a Macca's Grand Angus Burger. A book you would recommend everyone to read. Okay, you know what, for this question, because I have so many, I'm just going to say a book that um, maybe not a lot of people know of, and that's probably Time Shifters by Laura and R. It's beautiful. The third one's coming out soon, she's written two at the moment, they're out, and I absolutely fell in love with them when I read them, and the whole storyline and plot, and she mentioned me in the acknowledgement parts of her second book, and I just got so excited, and they just brilliant, brilliant time travel books for anyone that likes time travel and all that stuff, make sure to get on. What video are you most proud of? I think I'm most proud of my travelling book video, like the very first one I did to announce that the book's going to be, you know, travelling all around the world and stuff. I was really happy with that video. My Ripset announcement that I did with Pascal, like the, the, for round four I think it was, I was really proud about that one. Sleepy Wide Studios, which is Macy, says, what is your favourite op novel? Um, probably Cartel. Book me him up. I know you're studying film right now. So what would you want to do with that in the future? More specifically, if you could work on any TV show movie in the future, what would it be and why? I think anything to do with possibly like editing or camera work or any of that stuff I'd want to do. I know <laughs> my editing my YouTube videos is probably really shit. 
and also my camera work in YouTube is probably a bit shit. I love being actual on the big cameras because I can see better. With editing programs, like I can't be stopped editing my YouTube videos like a pro on my like computer. I just can't be stopped. So if I can put the effort into editing something, I will edit it well. I'm more into editing like short movies and all that stuff than I am my own YouTube videos. I know that's just sad horrible, but it is true. I'll probably work on the TV shows or movies or do more like live stuff. Like really live OBs, I'd love to do that. If I could do anything, if I could work on any movie, I'd probably love to work on YA book to movie adaptations because I love that. And that can be combining two of my favourite things to do, so that'd be wicked. I don't know, I just really love to also like if I write something, if my what I'm writing at the moment comes to be out there. Work on that, that's just sick. Naomi says, because you've been both. Who have more fun, a brunette or blonde? So I started out booktube, my original colour, I'm brunette, so I'm really kind of dark brown. And then for the last year, I've just gone lighter and lighter and lighter and lighter until I'm blonde. I've had good memories as a brunette, but then as a blonde. 2015, those been a shit year. So I don't know what to say. I think both. I think both. I'm just going to say both. Maybe I've done more dumb things being blonde. <laughs> my cat rocks. 23 says what type of music do you listen to and what are some of your favorite bands slash artists? My favorite artists would have been Olivia Dell and I love Sia. No, I'm not a One Direction fan. Um, Justin Bieber, I used to like him and I don't like him anymore. Oh god, I'm gonna get killed for that. I like Coldplay and U2. Even with music, I'm a bit topsy-turvy. It's like TV. I'm just a bit all over the place. Renata Gibbons says, How long have you and Pascal been together? Pascal and I have been together. We've known each other two years and we were best friends before we went out. Now we've been going out a year and it's about to go in a year and three months, I think. It's weird being in a relationship with your best friend. He's, he's like my bitch in a way, like in a good way. You fight a lot and you just get annoyed a lot. If I have a problem, I just take it out on him because he's my best friend. At the end of the day, you know, we're more than just friends. You know, we love each other and we have a really fun, weird relationship. And this is what I also said. What's your goal for subscribers that you want to reach one day? Honestly, wherever it goes, it goes. I can't control it and I'm happy for the journey. Um, that's you know, YouTube is taking me. And the Princess of Reading says, I can't wait to see your bookshop organisation video. That's already up. Um, yeah, another Q&A. Do you plan on getting any more pets? Yes, I do. In the future, well, Sophie and Lily, I'm keeping them out. In the future, you know, I would love, like, a couple dogs and cats more cats as well. I think I just want a Labrador or like a Husky or something like that in the future. That'd be really good. What career do you want in the future? Anything in the film or television industry. Uh, what five books do you really want to read by the end of the year? I've kind of completed the books that I really want to read this year. I don't really have an answer for that because I'm kind of reading things all over the place. Thank you so much to all you lovely people for sending in those questions. I highly appreciate it. And I do a Q&A every single year. It's just really fun to do and lovely and I like doing one so that you know new subscribers you can get to know you a bit better maybe ask you some questions they've been wanting to ask you thank you so much for tuning in I'm Miranda thank you so much for watching ta-ta see ya <laughs>